Hi, we're still at Bisloja. We've got the Mini 2 out and against all advice <laughs> we're going to see if this runs. Um, so I was saying about new firmware, I'll just install that quickly, doesn't look too big. Uh, I think it's for this controller actually. I think it's so you can use between the Air 2S as well. Hopefully that will, will work. <laughs> so while we're waiting for that, yeah, so basically it's a little bit windy up here, we're up on a mountain. so. There's a real danger that you could lose your drone, um, but it's not, the winds aren't as high as I've ever been in, I don't think. So let's just see. I mean, I suppose as you get higher, but well, you know, the wind's blowing this way. I think we just, you know, we need to be careful. If anything goes wrong, we'll bring it down and you'll probably see me run off and uh, get it. <laughs> but um, let's see, we'll, we'll bring it up first. We'll show it in front of the camera. We'll just see how it gets on. Yeah, it's a good idea to install a firmware update while you're out and about. <laughs> Not the right thing to do, but it said 0.65 meg. I think it'll take like a few seconds. Um, but anyway, it is doing what it's doing. Um, Emily's kicking off in the background. <laughs> it's the usual, uh, usual drone day. So uh, let's see how we get on. Right, so at 90%. You know, you get these, don't you, where uh, it is done. That's brilliant. Right, so we can come out of that. Better watch out because there are some motocross or like scrambler type people. Actually, yeah, so yeah, I want to use that. Okay. I uh, just want to set. Right, that should be good. Right, we're installed. Go fly. Compass calibration required. So let's do the compass check now. Uh, so the way we normally do this is sort of spin on the spot like that. That way you can hold the controller. Right, then nose up, round like that. Shouldn't take too long. This is a Mini, remember, not the Femi Mini. Just had loads of issues with the calibration on the Femi Mini. Right, we're in 4K30. Start the recording on the drone. It's quite windy, I'm a little bit nervous, but let's see how we get on a second. Take off. To go up to like a nice little height for you. Right, so now I move it towards the camera. Try and see if we can get. You can see the wind's a bit. Wind ain't great. So let's bring it down. Yeah, there's some sort of scramblers about, you know. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's going okay on the camera. I'm going to move it back in a second. It's not too bad. I think we'll give it a go. We'll see how we get on. See if it's like, you know, we'll take a risk, I think. Right, so, and it's just got sunny again. That's a good sign, isn't it? So, let's take it up. It's all been reset, I think, to my uh, sort of speed settings. So, screen's very difficult to see in the sun. Uh, we'll turn it round, try and get our bearings. Try and see the monument in the background. That's Buzzleger again. Try and get it up nice and high. Um, the issue will be, I, I think it will warn us. If it, if it doesn't like the wind, it will warn us. So um, let's get up and sort of have a look and drop the camera down. My screen's very, you know, sort of affected by the sun today. Um, let's go and take a look at the monument. One thing we did was we did a sort of like a, a um, a circle of it using the Air 2S in a previous video and it would be good to try and do a circle of it with the Mini and then see what we're doing so let's just turn let's get ourselves back off from it right and let's see if we could do a circle of it again I have to turn off the recording and then I think what well, you want quick shot and then you want circle come out of that select the thing that you want i like the way it says obstacle avoidance unavailable <laughs> it's unavailable all the time <laughs> on a mini so um, that's very interesting is it is it confused between the air 2s and the mini 
I don't know. Have they introduced some sort of obstacle detection <laughs> that I've been unaware of? Right, let's see what it does. Let's see it go round it. I think it will go round it anti-clockwise. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's doing something. Now it's whether or not the wind allows it to do to do what we need it to do, really. You can hear it. It all sounds fine up there. Just keep an eye because there's no obstacle avoidance on this drone. And if it hits something, that's not good. So it is going round it. What we don't want it to do is get kind of caught up in the wind and then get blown away. But so far, it's doing okay. I mean, it was just something, you know, when I was here last time and I brought the Femi, um, you know, the guy asked me what drones I had and, and, and there was a guy who said, oh yeah, don't, you know, don't, do, don't bring that or whatever. Hang on, have we lost signal now? Oh no, it's because it doesn't allow you to control the, the camera, so you, you can't control like the kind of your, uh, the, the, um, the pitch of the camera. So it will, it will just kind of go around it and do whatever it does and then, you know, it's at 74%, so that's pretty good. So, you know, so far this drone is doing a good job and the wind isn't great. Um, I don't think I'd trust the Mini 1, but the Mini 2 seems to be pretty good. So that's good. Yeah. So, you know, we didn't have anything to fear, it would seem, yet. Or maybe it will go. We don't know, do we? So, right. So, I don't know if it did a full loop. It almost didn't seem to, to me. But, but yeah. So, basically, that's doing okay. I can come out of that. I can go back into video and then turn back on the recording. So, you've got 4K30 on this drone. Um, I'm wondering how high we are. If we could do like a flyover. Let's have a look down as we hear the drone going motoring towards it. I don't know if that's up high enough. Obviously nervous about this, but let's see how we get over. Hopefully we would avoid it. We want to avoid that tower if we can. It looks like we're above it, so that's all good. Definitely a scary flyby there. <laughs> very close, very close. It looked like we were above it anyway, so pretty good. We brought the camera right the way down, I think. We'll turn it round. Like, no strong wind warning yet. I mean, that's quite mad. I was really expecting a strong wind warning by now. Um, we're kind of up high as well, maximum sort of height as well, so we're very close to maximum. We'll probably go up a few more meters, but yeah, uh, maximum altitude, yeah, but that's maximum altitude. That's not a wind warning, so pretty good. Let's just drop it down, see if we can get a good view from this. We're not, we're not, we're not reaching the maximum height, even though it says it is. We're very close to it, but look, you can see the ruins of it. I expect it's struggling to fly over. It'd be very interesting to see this as opposed to, because I'm filming the videos back to back, obviously here. Um, you'll be seeing them um, sort of like probably a week apart. Right, let's bring it down because it's moaning about that altitude, it's annoying. Um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful area to, to do drone videos really. Let's just have a look around beneath. See if I can get a view of that car park again. This is like a nice car park down there. I know that's not like something exciting, but certainly it looked like a good vantage point to do the drone videos from. But yeah, what we'll try and do now is maybe do a droney away from it. Um, let's get close to it and we'll probably have to go low um, because with the Air 2S, we had the problem that it moved back and then it breached its height, um, which we don't want it to do. So we're going to go across, getting into line with it. I, I, I think this Mini 2 is handling this really well. Um, it's not struggling. There's been no wind warnings that I can tell. Um, I hope that that's not been deactivated <laughs> somehow. Um, right, okay, I'm going to bring it down. Don't be too close to it. Maybe move back a bit from it. And then... We need to come down quite a bit, put the camera up because you don't have a lot of like leeway. So you're going to come down like 50 meters or 60 or something. So if you're going to do the droney, 
So now when you cancel the, there's a lot of flies up here as well. So you change the, to quick shot and set it in droney, set it to 50 meters and then come off that. Um, and then what you do is you draw a little box. It's got it. Um, might pick the camera up slightly. Can I pick this? No, it won't let you. Right, so let's see what that gets, <laughs> basically. But yeah, I just thought as we're here, get the uh, get the Mini 2 out and, you know, the, a lot of it is fear, you know. If, if the drone, the drone's quite capable, um, it, it, it's handling this wind no problem. You know, obviously you don't want to go crazy with wind if it was like literally blowing you across the floor here. I don't think that would be a good idea. Right, so that's done a drone. You just need, you, you've done this drone you just need to be careful, really. Right, so now it's returning, hopefully not into it. Um, and you can probably cancel that, to be honest with you. Go out and stick it in, um, stick it back in video and back in 4K30. And then we can back away, maybe come up higher again. Actually, that's going down, back away. So kind of do a manual drony away from it a bit um, in order to get like a nice height over so that we can take a, well, some sort of weird bug then. <laughs> a lot of bugs in Bulgaria. You never see any bugs really in, in the UK, which is probably not a good thing, but <laughs> this thing really likes the screen. It's probably quite warm, I suppose. <laughs> it's like really sort of trying to, actually we're at maximum altitude now. So I want to take a look over it. I don't want to be at maximum altitude, but we do want to be, eh, the bug's doing no harm. It's sitting there. It's happy on the screen. <laughs> it's not really getting in my way, actually. So, so what I'm thinking of doing is just sort of, let's bring the camera down as we go over. So let's see if we can do it quite smoothly. Don't know if that's a good or not. We're going right over the top, I think, of the dome. And I can, I can hear it going over the top. Certainly hear it. Either that or that's someone else's drone. Put it that way. Yeah, I think that's someone else's drone. <laughs> yeah, I've never really been in the same vicinity as someone else doing drones. So it did look very similar to a Mavic drone as well. So I won't be able to tell, but I think the chances of kind of colliding are probably quite low. I would have thought I'm more likely to collide into the uh, monument than I am into the to the other drone user, I think. So we'll carry on. Um, we're quite a small target with the Mini, of course. Let's see, I head back over this way towards that car park. And just hope that we don't hit it. I don't think we will. <laughs> So I don't know if it's a biting thing or not. Ooh, that's quite close. See, bugs can be quite pain because they can distract you from what you were doing. Yeah, that's the really cool car park I was talking about down there, um, which looks up at the monument and gets a really good view of it. But I think you'd have a lot of height issues. I think your altitude would be much worse because, you know, don't forget, it's from the ground where you stood on. So as soon as you start going up one metre, you're losing, you're losing ground got a lot of annoying sort of bikes about scramblers as well so right yeah the signal was a bit iffy there i think it's because it's kind of just over that rock behind us um but yeah but you know do you know what i've had less signal issues here than i have in the park back in doncaster you know you're flying around a really big sort of i know it's because it's big open space but there's you know there's big turbines behind us I mean, I don't know if I can give you a view of these turbines. I think probably can. There you go, like wind turbines over there. You know, you've got a lot going on around you um, and it's quite windy. Um, one thing to say is I went over the same way as that guy. So maybe I should, <laughs> or girl, who knows? But we went right, We went basically over where the, um, let's see our car down there, I think. I know, we, we, I think we're further down in another car park. Oh, no, 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 we are down there, yeah. But, yeah, you know, it's a nice it's a nice place to visit, definitely. Um, it's a shame it's not as sunny as it could be. Um, it's always a little bit cooler up here than it is um, 
down in the down on the ground it'll be like 24 25 you know um, we haven't quite got to those sort of 30 degree temperatures yet um, so it's not it's not the hottest time of the year but um, we're coming sort of like you know into June now aren't we so hopefully you know we'll be on the beach at some point <laughs> you know certainly be going to some of the nice hotels and aqua parks and that kind of thing that's what's so good about Bulgaria like some really nice hotels aqua parks resorts that kind of thing they're all here you know so definitely a good place to come for that and uh, old communist monuments if you if that's your thing as it's ours right so yeah that's me flying back over definitely above now and there's more bugs that are coming for us but yeah hopefully that's a nice view of everything for you uh, but yeah we thought while we're here we might as well give the mini two a go because I, I bet Bulgarians would get a Mini 2 out and fly around here. I know they would. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They wouldn't pay extra. They would fly around and, you know. But mind you, there was a guy, the, the guy who spoke to us last time did say, oh, I don't know, did you, did, was it a Mini drone? I think he confused the Femi with a Mini. And um, I said, oh, no, it's, it's big. Um, but, yeah, I, I think, you know, you're probably better off with a bigger drone than you are with the mini drones here but yeah it's all going round look at that we can back off maybe back off the monument a bit get a good view from around here and then probably we'll have to send it in because it's basically saying it's got about six minutes to go but yeah it's not a it's not i haven't got my nice sort of smooth camera settings that set up at the moment mainly because we get it you've got a lot of horizon tilt interesting will we see horizon tilt again with this drone i don't know um because you know just every time i do a video people are like oh you've got a horizon problem and i don't know i just don't think i have but maybe so you could have a look i mean it's hard to see the horizon here because it's so high <laughs> but um yeah, I don't think we've got a horizon issue, really. It all looks pretty good to me. We've done all reset the settings, so everything looks pretty good. You know, it's, it's using the same standard settings. Right, so I think we'll get past the monument and then we'll bring it in for landing. And uh, hopefully the camera and everything won't have overheated in that time. And probably I'm pushing the battery of this camera, actually. But up here, because the temperature's not so bad, It'd be pretty good. Right, so I'm going to do return to home. I'm probably going to have to cancel the landing um, because it, it, won't, it won't land on that pack because there's no precision landing with the, uh, with the Mini 2. So, uh, but yeah, two, you know, essentially the previous video had the Air 2S out and we hadn't had that out for a while because the Femi got in the way. Uh, the Mini 2, likewise, has been kind of superseded a bit by the Mini 1 at the moment because we've been doing active track and sort of playing around with those features which probably isn't that much of a good idea up here with all the wind. Um, but yeah, let's see how close it gets to the pad. Um, but it's on its way back and um, should be above us pretty much, I think now. Um, but yeah, you don't want to let the battery get too low on these as well because they, um, you, you know, you're ruining your battery life really if you, if you keep running it down to zero. Uh, but hopefully these flies and stuff that are on the pad will get out of the way by the time this uh, drone comes back, which hopefully it will. Just making sure I can't really see it at the moment. Don't know where it is. It's landing, it's saying. But where is it landing? Uh, it is, it is. Like, I was thinking for a minute, maybe it's nowhere near where we are, but it is, it is landing. Who's coming down right above us? But for a minute, I just thought maybe it's over there or something over the road or, but we'll let it come down and then we will, we'll probably cancel the landing because the Air 2S didn't do too bad, but the, the, the grass is a little bit, it's not terrible. There's a lot of grazing sheep, I think. Um, but I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to trust it to kind of deal with the, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to cancel that there. Bring it down. So we just give ourselves like perfect control of it. Right, we can put the camera back up. Just give ourselves a bit of control because, you know, I can maybe bring it up one last time to the camera. Let's give it a bit of a spin around. We've got Emily running around with her little lion as well, so we need to be a bit careful of her. 
um, because she has no idea of danger. In fact, she's coming towards it now. And Rachel's chasing her. <laughs> it's going to stop her. So, Shay, you can't see all this. Or maybe you could, actually. Oh, yeah, you probably could, actually. You probably could. Right, so it's moaning about low battery. Let's get this drone down. And let's sort of drop it back a little bit. Yeah, not quite. Bit windy though, that's why I think. It's just quite hard to get it perfect. Uh, but yeah, right, so like the last video, make sure you close out your video file. Press stop recording. It's very important to do that because if you don't, you might find yourself with a problem. Right, now hopefully the battery isn't gonna die in the camera. It does look like it's on one bar. So I'm gonna give you a quick view of this, but look, Mini 2 did no problems, managed to fly around the monument. I'm pretty happy with that because, you know, it's always nice to do two videos if you can when you come out and about. Just means you've got a spare video in the bank. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you, uh, hope you got something from it. You know, I know it's pretty similar to the last video, uh, but it was mainly just to see if the Mini 2 could handle it here. We weren't convinced and didn't do it last time. So this time we've done it. And it's been fine so we're happy with that really happy that it did it so yeah it's been worth it for me i hope it's been worth it for you uh, but yeah thanks very much for watching if you like the video uh, if you could press like that'd be great really helps out the stats if you uh, want to see more of these videos please subscribe if you haven't already because that really helps out the stats as well you know um, and thanks very much for watching we really appreciate you watching these videos um, and we'll see you again in the next one where we'll still be in Bulgaria somewhere. Um, but we don't know where. But, um, but thanks very much for watching. Um, really appreciate it. We'll see you again in the next one. Take care.